It's pretty well known that one of the biggest reasons for the failure of ADA cards is Nvidia's greed for more money without providing anything good in return. And even though gamers accepted GPUs like the RTX 4070 which saw a lot of backlash lately, it at least sold well compared to the 4060 Ti which has seen the worst sales in the entire lineup. While some might think this is due to insanely high price of $400, I say this is mainly due to its memory configuration which once again has been proved to be one of the worst decisions Nvidia has taken. Not only it bottlenecks the performance of this card at higher resolutions but this is also apparently making things worse for console emulation. If you are familiar with Yuzu emulator which is specifically made for running Nintendo Switch games on the PC, this works pretty well with the Ampere cards but according to Yuzu's own statements the RTX 4060 Ti performs worse than its predecessor. In the latest progress report, the developers criticized the card heavily, saying that they don't understand what kind of decisions Nvidia took when deciding the ADA product stack as it has nothing but mistakes. One of the main reasons for saying this is their disappointment over the 128-bit memory bus and GDDR6 VRAM which is a big downgrade over the 3060. This comes after when they tried switch emulation on this card and found out that it performs terribly outside of 1x scaling as 128-bit was limiting its performance. They also criticized the advertised increased cache which Nvidia boasts about being beneficial for gaming. This is because when the cache is saturated, there is literally nothing left for boosting the performance and you only need 2x scaling to saturate the cache which bottlenecks the gaming performance. So the Yuzu team is advising users to stick to the Ampere cards because 4060 Ti is a terrible investment and they hope that the 16GB edition comes with GDDR6X memory for an increased bandwidth. However, this isn't likely to happen and we know that the 16GB card adds nothing to the table. This again shows us why it is best to keep away from any of these 4060 Ti cards despite how much discount AIBs are offering. Unless the card comes down to something like $300 to $330, it makes no sense at all. Before moving on, consider subscribing to the channel if you want to keep up with the latest hardware stories going around the world. As it can be quite challenging to grasp everything at once, by following this channel you will get the most interesting stuff delivered in just a few minutes. Next we have the first ever benchmark leak of the upcoming RTX 4060 GPU. Well even though Nvidia has already shared its comparison slide where the 4060 looks 20% faster than the 3060, we can't take this result as 100% true before we can see the actual benchmarks. According to the latest leak, we can see the 4060's synthetic performance against the RTX 3060. Here the 4060 was just 17% faster than the 3060 in Vulkan and just 10% faster in OpenCL API compute tests. Now even though there will be some different in performance gap when we will have more performance entries over time, this does show that the max performance difference between these two cards won't be exceeding 18% or it might be even lower considering the average of both the results. Of course the gaming results will differ, but keeping in mind that Nvidia itself showed that the 4060 is not more than 20% faster than the 3060, it shouldn't be any surprise to see if this number reduces to 15% or lower. Another interesting comparison here is between the 4060 and 7600 where the 4060 is just 4% faster faster in Vulkan API but does a good job against the latter scoring 22% higher score in OpenCL. However, the fact that 4060 loses to the 3060 Ti by around 10% on average, it will make you wonder if there is any advantage going with the 4060 when the 3060 Ti is already ahead in both performance and specifications. The 3060 Ti is even priced pretty well right now and you can find one for $20 cheaper than the official MSRP of the 4060. On top of that, you will also get a wider memory bus and 4GB more VRAM. RAM. Seriously, the 4060 is no less than a joke and I can almost guarantee that it is going to be another big failure. And lastly, AMD is being accused of not letting DLSS support in their sponsored games. The story originates from WCC FTech which noticed that many of the AMD sponsored games that come with AMD bundles don't come with DLSS support. These titles include popular games like Star Wars Jedi, Dead Island 2, Resident Evil 4 Remake and various others. Upon asking, an AMD spokesperson said that there are also many games that only support DLSS and therefore AMD is committed to doing what is best for the game developers and gamers. Now, even though this does sound like a monopoly with their sponsored titles, I believe that the problem lies with the developers of the games and not just AMD itself. AMD literally has the job of paying the game developers to sponsor their games and developers have the choice to go with either Nvidia or AMD. If developers choose to go with AMD considering the fact that DLSS is superior to FSR in almost every title, they already know that AMD is going to do anti-consumer practice because AMD itself knows the fact that many developers don't want to implement FSR in DLSS supported games as the 
latter is superior. And this is one of the reasons why Nvidia doesn't restrict developers to implement FSR in their sponsored games because they don't care much about it. This has led to the creation of a lot of games that don't feature FSR at all. And this list is pretty bigger than the one that WCC FTech has shown and AMD is clearly not happy with this situation. Despite all of that, AMD still loves to follow Nvidia in replicating the latest gaming techs like ray tracing and frame generation. And in this video you will see how AMD is approaching frame generation with FSR 3 to compete with DLSS 3. Lastly, if you found this video informative, then hit the like button and subscribe for more stories like these. Also make sure to turn on the notifications to never miss any video in the future and I will see you in the next one.